If you are having trouble with your marriage, you are not alone. Every couple has its ups and downs, some more so than others. These problems could range from simple misunderstandings to larger concerns. Many issues of marriage are due to personal problems that one or both spouses may be going through, such as losing a parent. More traditional problems between the couple themselves, such as the couple losing touch with each other because they are too busy with children, jobs, and other responsibilities. And sometimes even outside influences, such as money problems due to a lost job. Many times in this modern and complex society, the problems with a person's marriage is a combination of all three types of problems. Moreover, marriages change over the years as both you and your spouse evolve. As the years go by, you both will go through your individual ups and downs as well, and these individual changes can affect your relationship with each other. These changes are normal and expected in any long-term relationship. Nevertheless, if you feel that the issues of your marriage are more serious than the regular ups and downs associated with a long-term relationship, do not despair. There is hope, even for the most dysfunctional of marriages. There are numerous solutions that may work for your marriage, including therapy, setting time aside, time aside for each other and yourselves as individuals, and even simply taking up hobby. Many marriages have been saved with combinations of the solutions that will be discussed here. Saving your marriage is not just about ensuring that you and your spouse get along well with each other. It is also about taking care of yourselves as individuals as well. It is vital that you take care of and nurture yourselves as well. For this reason, many couples find that participating in both couples therapy as well as individual therapy is the best route to working through their marital problems. There are numerous keys to a good relationship. These keys include fostering honest and clear communication between you and your spouse, being open and understanding with your spouse, thinking before speaking, and always make time for each other and yourselves. The solutions discussed here will enable you to start implementing these keys in your marriage and will help to set your marriage back on the right track. The most important step you can take to save your marriage is to have hope, have a positive attitude, and know that your marriage will be okay. Once you have this positive outlook, every other problem you and your spouse will have to surmount will seem a lot smaller than it did before.